Good evening ladies and gentlemen. Alright, for this video here I would like to make a little review on the Hippocr Hippocrane Beginners Japanese course. Now when I made my recent Japanese transition course from Beginners to Transition, I don't remember including this. I may have, but I don't remember. I think I may have forgotten it. But uh, even if I did, I'm, I still want to go through it, make a little review, and um, just show you some incentives of this course and some drawbacks. Okay? So as usual, Hippocrane, now I haven't listened to this yet, but from my experience of using Hippocrane, they tend to do a pretty good job without, um, with taking out the English when, when bringing you to the dialogues. But um, it's as far as the layout, it's pretty similar to something like a teacher yourself, where they basically give you the dialogue, they give you culture notes, and a grammar section. Now, um, one thing that makes this uh, better than teach yourself, I will say, is the simple fact that they use more hiragana. They use more of the written language, but they don't use enough of it when they get to the um, the examples and I'm going to show you that here in a second so for beginners I think this is a really good course um, if I were to choose, if like I, like I say I like teach yourself but only thing is they use more of the written language than teach yourself okay so let's go ahead and look through this course alright so you have your audio CDs one on each side that all right so I'm gonna go to the first chapter okay this introduction they give you a Hiragana there they give you some study hints that's pretty cool I don't remember seeing any other Hippocrane courses the study hints Try to study a little every day. You will learn much more this way than if you study for a long period of time inconsistently. Try to meet with a Japanese person or a fluent Japanese speaker at least once a week. Do not move on to the next lesson until you have mastered the current one. Remember the correct, pronunci remember the correct pronun pronunciation. Do not deviate from it. Try to incorporate Japanese words into your daily life. Speak and think in Japanese as much as possible. Cool. I like that. That's pretty good. It gives you more motivation before getting into the course. I like that. All right. So lesson one. I'm dealing with time. So they tell you what you're getting in, getting yourself into before you get in, before you start. Basic sentence formation. How to tell time. Numbers one through one hundred. Okay. Now here's the dialogue. What I really like about this is the fact that they actually included the script. Okay, so dialogues here, as you can see, that's the script. Then they have the romaji. And then they have the English translation over here. Okay, so what separates this from Teach Yourself, once again, is A, they include the script in the dialogue. And B, they include a translation of the dialogue, which is a good thing. Which is a great thing. Then you have your grammar explanations here. Why? Why is always added to the subject of every sentence. However, in the Hiragana alphabet, one does not use the symbol Y. Instead, Ha is used. And then as you can see over here on the side, you have more like culture not culture notes but more grammar notes they talk about Han is used to telling time when say it when saying it half past something gozaimas is a polite word added to phrases like thank you and good morning it does not change the meaning of the word it simply adds respect you see that and then San so what I what I talked about as far as I'm not adding the the, the script in the ex, or in the grammar section, you can see that they use all romaji here. Okay, and then you have exercises. 
but that's okay you know it's it's fine it's just uh, as long as they added something it's always good to have the script <clears throat> no matter if you're a beginner or not because you don't want to get too lazy with you know and you, you like see so you teach yourself they use remind you all the way through the book you know and you doing that you work through teach yourself which, which is going to take you some time to get through you probably will become lazy and not want to learn the kanji and hear the ghana you know so hopefully they'll fix that in the future i'm sure they will but nonetheless it's a it's a good course it's a great course i like the content so here you go more dial more um, exercises short dialogues practice these dialogues changing the underlying words that's pretty cool and there you have it and you have a self test you have some translation words here translate the following sentences into into Japanese so I know a lot of people like to do self tests and exercise you may fancy this a lot so I'm not going to go through the second lesson but it's pretty much the same as before I'm going to go further ahead and see if they include the written in the in the grammar section. I doubt it though. Nope, they didn't include it. But that's fine. It's still, you know, it's still a good course. It's still a good course. No kanji introduced yet. I don't see any. But that's fine. It's a beginner's course, but hey, um, like I said, even if you're a beginner, you should still include script kanji and all that good stuff. If you look at Aussie Mill, starting from the first lesson, they, they start off with everything. They don't they they have Romaji, but at the same time they have the kanji, hiragana and katakana at the beginning. So that's it for this review. Um, let me know if you guys have any questions. Otherwise thanks for viewing and uh, talk to you guys here shortly.